What's up, motherfuckers? Don't mind me. I'm a little off. But it's a message behind my madness. If you pay attention. Man, I just got on here today to talk about the penitentiary. Leavenworth, Kansas. Where I spent damn near eight and a half years. Oh, A3. You got A1, you got A2, you got A3. A3, you got to walk up four flights of steps. So my first day on the yard, let me back it up a little bit. When you go to Leavenworth, when you get off the van, you got to check in. You got to go downstairs. You got to get booked in. You know, you got to get your mug shot. They ask you. Is you from a neighborhood? What hood you from? And all that shit. I was like, man, I'm 34 years old. What do you mean, what hood? So he had a piece of paper with, I guess, my, my history on it and where I grew up and all that shit. And it said Hilltop, 3210 Erskine. I don't know. I forget a lot, but I'll never forget 3210 Erskine. I don't know if it was, you know, some traumatizing shit behind me remembering 3210 Erskine. <laughs> but I don't know birthdays or none of that shit. But anyway, dude said, man, it looks like you from Hilltop. It looks like you a Hilltop Crip. I said, nah, man. I'm not affiliated. I'm not. And if you do know me, in Omaha, Nebraska, you know me to thinking I was a blood. When I, I say thinking because gang banging is whack like crack. Whitney Houston was on some on some shit. But yeah, anyway, uh motherfucker asked me, said you from Hilltop. Yeah, we got some hilltops up here, so when you get on the yard, you know, that's who I guess you'll be talking to. I'm, so I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'm still trying to get over the trauma of this 10-year bit. So, you know, they 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 calling us one by one, doing paperwork, doing all the time, asking you dumbass questions, telling you, you know, how, what's going on. And so they came with a bag. It was a plastic bag. They was like, which one y'all want? McDonald I mean Big Macs or uh McDonald Big Macs or uh double cheeseburgers. You know, I'm like, damn, they feed y'all like that, man. They handed me the bag, nigga I looked at it, pumped up. It was some cold ass bologna sandwich with a green film on it. With a green film on that shit. So I was like, God damn. So anyway, they paired us up, put us in separate rooms, then marched us the uh, 2009, the ending of 2009 when I got to Leavenworth. They was, it was like some epidemic breakout in that motherfucker. Uh, what do they call that shit? Damn, I'll figure it out. I don't want to. Some it's a, some nasty shit. So you they they quarantined me for a week. They quarantined the whole group that was in Fresh and Leavenworth. So they they put us in in the you might as well say in solitary solitary. They put us in the whole solitary confinement for damn near a week. So I happened to go in the room with some uh with a dc dude an old dc dude later up later on i find out they call him the dc sniper meaning he was the booty bandit so i'm in there with a gay older man about 40 40 49 or 53 some shit around there at the time so i go they they open the door puts me in the room this is my first night in Leavenworth in the hole with the group that I came with. 
So they all got their different rooms and cellies. You know, they're experiencing the same shit I'm experiencing. But they probably didn't experience what the fuck I experienced uh, with my first roommate in Leavenworth, Kansas. This nigga asked me, do I snore and do I be farting? This is like the first shit he asked me. Mind you, he didn't even want no celly. He was wrong. He was talking about, why y'all putting me in my room? I'm like, man, shit, nigga, you got to holler at them. And yeah, I do both of them. I snore and I be fart, nigga, and it stink on my mama, nigga. I took his ass. He wasn't no, nigga, I was ready. But anyway, the nigga, uh, so the next day, shit, you know, well, I went to sleep, man. Woke up, heard this nigga snoring, but he talking about do I snore? I'm thinking, looking around, tripping, looking at the scene, looking at this little ass room with this dirty meal dude ass shower that me and this fag, excuse my French, this LGBTQ, whatever it's called, community, DC dude. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so the next couple of days, you know, we lightweight talk. He tried to show me some pictures and shit. He was showing me all, he handed me a, a, a pile of pictures of some naked bitches and shit like that. I guess this is what you can get in Leavenworth, naked pictures and all this shit. And so I'm flicking through the pictures. This one caught my eye. It was some, I guess he didn't know or was testing me. It was some gay, uh, he had pictures, photos of other gay men that was dressed like women in different prisons that he was in. This nigga is a prison hopper. But, uh, so he had photos in there. So I, I seen it. I ain't say nothing. I just, after I seen all the pictures, I handed it to him. Yeah, ooh, ooh. Like, nigga, you got a book or something I can read? Oh, man, I don't do no read. I don't do no reading. So this nigga talking about, do y'all, uh, do you know if it was some DC cats that came with you on the bus? Shit, man. I, shit, I think it was a couple of cats, you know, that was, uh, in holding with me. I think they from DC. And so, you know, that was the end of that. And next thing you know, you know, the trustees start coming to people's doors at night asking, you know, that they want something trying to get some stamps or some cigarettes from niggas in the hole uh, scamming them. Scamming the shit out of them. If you a trustee in the hole, you can walk around. You can come out your room, clean up. You hand out trays. Maybe you could pick the trays up. It's always one or, no, it's always about two or three trustees in any hole. And so the trustees came to the door and he was like, uh, man, what, I guess if you from the same D.C. or Omaha or Kansas or anything like that, they called them your homeboys. That's your car. Man, he was talking to the dude at the door. I'm, I'm on the top bunk looking at his goofy ass. Man, is this some of my homeboys come, man? And they got to chopping it up. Dude came back, woo woo woo, said yeah. And he got the, the current, the, he got the understanding that it was some of his people there. So he start giving the trustee pictures, gay pictures, all, all type of pictures, shooting them to him to get to his homeboy. He even shoot him, shot him a radio. You can have radios in the hole. I guess he had, a, he did have a couple of them. He listen to church music, but on that freaky shit. But the nigga was like, yeah, some of your homeboys. He started handing the nigga shit out the door. He had to pay the trustee. Then the trustee started sending notes from the other D.C. niggas. They, they, they kind of act sweet. You know what I'm saying? I can't say what the fuck they is. Because then I end up being on the yard with them for like two to three years. Uh, so... Anyway, so these motherfuckers passing notes back and forth through the trustee. So 
the uh the DC dudes, I guess they got mad and was like, man, no, nah, the dude showed me a note, one of the notes. He was like, man, look at this, man. When you go in the yard, man, run up on my homeboys, man, and tell them that these motherfuckers jacked me while, we, while I'm in the hole and all this, nigga. No, I'm like, yeah, nigga, I'm, for real, for real, I said, yeah. For real, for real, I said, yeah. But for real, for real, I didn't give no fuck, and it didn't matter to me. I, my mouth was closed. I don't, that's y'all business, nigga. So this motherfucker, so it was like, so anyway, week later, they let us out the hole. Nigga, I was so happy to get out the hole, man. I damn near cried because I was, I wanted to get on the yard so bad. I never went to the hole, my whole eight and a half years in Leavenworth, besides that first time. I don't do the hole. But anyway, this is a cigarette. YouTube, Zachary, anyway, uh, what was I saying, so, so we got to get out the yard, you know, my, I had, I, I went and got my room or whatever, everybody was at work and on the yard, and so when I came to my room, it was some, I was, uh, some Kansas City nigga was asking me where I'm from, woo, 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 woo. his name ended up to be, uh, Chicken. We ended up got we ended up got cool. We was gonna fight though. But anyway, this nigga, that's a, I'm gonna get on to that. But he was like, "Yeah, you're selling from uh, Lincoln. You know, I guess y'all from the same woo woo woo." And so I'm thinking, "Yeah, I don't know nobody from Lincoln. I only been there to get my license in this day. Keep my mouth shut. Woo woo woo. Sit there, wait, nigga. The bell ring. That motherfucker. It's a it's a 400 unit person, person unit. And so, you know, motherfuckers start piling in that motherfucker. I'm just looking like, damn, this is my life. This is my life, fuck. So I'll try to go to the store that next morning. I had money on my books, so, you know, I could, it was my store day. Well, when you first get on the yard, you can go get you some shit. You know, but people, your car, why I say your car, they supposed to be your homeboys. You're supposed to roll with them. A few motherfuckers walked up on me asking did I need something from Omaha. I knew a few niggas. I didn't know a few, but if you know me, I don't do niggas. I, don't, I, I, I fuck with y'all. I, I love y'all, but it's, it's, it's too complicated. Even that's on the street. And if you ain't what I'm on shit, you ain't no shit. I'm on in betterment and empowering my people. I don't do no drug selling. I, I, I'm against it. I was a drug seller. But anyway, back to the story. So I get down to the uh, commissary. And the two, D, two DC dudes that I got in, that I, uh, my celly got into it with, and come to find out that they was gay. And the dude, I seen a letter, with a, a little letter that the, the trustee handed to the nigga. He was like, man, look at that shit. Man, this nigga was like, yeah, I ain't going to get out the hole when they let us out. I'm staying. I'm trying to come in your room. This nigga was like trying to play the old nigga and to get the radio, to get some shit that he need. Them D.C. niggas is a motherfucker. But anyway, so I'm down at the commissary. Happy shit. I'm looking at everybody. Oh, you motherfuckers recognize me. I'm reckon, damn, this where you been, nigga? Type shit. This nigga, the two D, the two DC dudes, see me, and was like, they knew I was in the room with their homeboy, there was somebody that they don't even know, but so they assumed that I was gonna come on the yard and bust them out and go to the DC, go to some what I look like, new nigga in a, in a ten year bit looking for somebody to tell them what the fuck happened in the hole. It didn't go down like that. So the nigga, I seen the nigga, the nigga was looking at me crazy. We just, this our second day on the yard. He looking at me. It was two of them. They looking at me crazy. I'm like, damn, nigga, what's up? I, I mean, we didn't do no talking uh, when we was, so damn, what's up? Oh, man. Oh, shit, man, I, I heard you was up. Nigga, you ain't heard a bitch-ass thing, nigga. 
You ain't heard a bitch ass thing, nigga. Get that matter of fact, nigga. I don't even want to hear that old gay ass shit, nigga. I said that out loud, nigga. I'm bipolar, nigga. I said that shit in the goddamn commissary downstairs, nigga. If you know me, you know Eddie Woods, you know uh, Street Soul, nigga. Uh, Rambo, nigga. Jr. That popped at the police in Omaha. Them niggas will tell you, nigga. So. It, it, it got, it got, it calmed down. A couple of niggas was like, ooh. So I go to town for the first time. I sit down in town at the Omaha session with the fake homeboys. I sit down at the table. I'm there eating. Y'all know mumbles. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I sit down eating. And uh, this nigga walk up to the side of me. They section, D.C. section, like, six tables behind us to the left or some shit in the kitchen. The kitchen is hard to explain because everybody got a section. D.C. got a section, Texas, Mexicans, the other Mexicans, niggas, Islanders, uh, snitches, uh, Christians, all that shit. So, this nigga, so back, really, he was being disrespectful because I'm about to tell you what he did. So them niggas at the store must have told him about what happened. They shot called him. Come to find out, he was all right, Captain. I mean, not all right, but he stick to the script when it comes to politics and in jail. But anyway, the nigga was like, this nigga just sat down at the Omaha, Nebraska table. This why I, I stopped going to town. This nigga sat down at the Omaha, Nebraska table and was like, he just sat down. He did ask when it come to find out. You gotta ask, can you sit down and talk? You got man, it's just like a lot of respectful shit. And that let me know off rip, these niggas ain't getting no respect. They're like the lowest of the low of the totem pole in this motherfucker. I come to find out. Against each other, more than riding with each other. So the nigga sit down and was like, look at me, nigga, I looking at him. He's like, man, you got a home, you got a problem with my homeboys? I'm like, man, what the fuck you talking about, nigga? I said, shit, nigga, man, what if I do? Just like that, nigga, on my daughter, nigga, I don't get no fuck. And we was in the town hall. Come to find out, you fight in the town hall, nigga, your ass is gonna be in the hole for a year. But anyway, that I seen where the nigga walked after he got up, like nigga his own type shit. After I said, nigga, yeah, it might be. So I look around at the niggas at the table. These niggas eating like this. Ain't nobody saying nothing. Ain't nobody, nigga, hey, hey, hey. How I figured out how it's supposed to be. So I go put my tray up, and I see where the nigga go sit down. So I'll go to that nigga section. These niggas ain't, T, stop. <laughs> nigga, you don't work like this. So I go to the nigga table on my mama and they section and stand over him like he was standing over me. It was like, nigga, don't be, what the fuck you coming over here asking me about some old gay ass, weak ass shit, nigga? And his, guess what his homeboys do? Oh, nigga, he got, nigga, what the fuck you cussing up, nigga? What, you got a problem with that? And shot caller nigga was like, calm down. Ooh, calm. I was like, nigga, I'm in A3, nigga. I'm on my way back to the unit, nigga, on my mama. I start walking to the unit by right these niggas that was sitting at the table from Omaha. Nigga, they supposed to be on that type shit, nigga. They some, man, I, don't, I ain't against my own. I, nigga, I'm a, I'm against the fuck I am, nigga. That Leavenworth shit, nigga, all that jail shit washed up, played out, nigga. Anyway, nigga, I'm in the, nigga, once you come out to town hall in Leavenworth, you damn near gotta walk a block and a half to go to your unit and then... When you get in the block, when you get in there, nigga, it's all secluded. Once you get in the hallway with the steps, it's first, second, third, fourth. It's But I'm on the third. Niggas, these niggas on my ass, nigga. While I'm walking, but I don't get no fuck. I'm, you know, I'm for fucking. This how it's got to go the first day. Nigga, we get in the hallway, nigga. I stop, nigga, on, on A2, nigga, in the middle of the steps. And the nigga came around. I was like, man, check this out, nigga. I squared with one of y'all niggas 101, nigga, on my mama. That nigga Pooh was there. A couple other niggas walked snitching ass up. 
this one nigga, but nigga, the nigga was like, nigga, I was like, nigga, fuck it, nigga, these niggas was ready to get me, and I know they be sticking and all that shit, come later that I find out, man, these niggas, man, the shot car, I was like, nigga, nigga, I don't, I'm not gay, nigga, so I don't got nothing to do with the shit that's going on in the hole and out here, shot car was like, oh man, it's alright, man, it's alright. I should have shut up. But why a couple niggas from A2 come down the steps while I'm in the hallway arguing with these niggas? And guess what these niggas at? You all right, man? I say, hell yeah, I'm all right, nigga. Because you, nigga, that, uh, you got to play the role. If you don't play, nigga, you about to be about it, nigga. And these, guess what these niggas did? They kept on walking down the stairs after, nigga, by rights, nigga, they needed their ass kicked off the compound for letting me stand there by myself. That's why I knew I start catching on. These niggas weak. These niggas against each other and these niggas go run back and kiss these other uh St. Louis niggas ass. Shout out to St. Louis. I met some good ass <laughs> crazy niggas LA. Crazy niggas, but uh yeah man. Yeah. Yeah. And so that was my first Day on the compound. That was my first day on the compound. Wow. Well, I'm going to get at y'all later, man.